did you know uh, that in 1951 we had 300,000 acres of fruit trees, orchards? Britain, because of soil, because of temperature, because of horticulturalists, had the best apples, plums, pears in the world, in my opinion, and in the opinion of other people. The CRT, alarmed at the reduction in good fruit trees and British knowledge of fruit trees, we've decided to do this. We've created a wonderful community orchard. Welcome to the community orchard. Today Bill and I have been finishing off the mulching around the trees. And the idea of the mulching is that it keeps moisture in the ground and this is lovely manure that we've got here and that will be feeding it over certainly over this year and in future years as well. But you can see how, how thick it is to keep the moisture in the ground so the tree can start to develop. Right so on the mulching we've got this guard situation here which is helping us because it's stopping the manure going right up to the tree which means that it's not going to get burned by the manure or uh, encouraged to rot by the manure. You can possibly see on this that at the bottom is the rootstock and then we've got the uh, variety of apple on the front and on the top and this is Adam's pear mate which is a lovely apple and we hope we've got a lot of varieties here um, over a hundred varieties of apples, pears, cherries um, and we hope to add a few oddities as well as time goes on. This is the new rock pippin apple tree planted by our patron dame Judy Dench and as you'd expect from Judy it's very very pretty, very attractive, very nice. She planted this in monsoon conditions, water water everywhere, it was atrocious. So I'm glad to see this and the other trees still alive and then we had drought almost ever since and the lads, Bill the cameraman, one of them, had to come and use a bowser to water them. It's coming to the end of the day, a good time to water, although it's still quite sunny, but it's the end of the day. We've got a water bowser because we're even at the end of April, it's been an exceptionally dry April. We're going to have to give the trees a soaking uh, to get them through the next little period and hopefully rain will come along. But the idea is that we give them a lot occasionally rather than little and often. This is now watering a tree. We've, taken, we've filled up our watering can from our very useful dustbin by the Bowser. You can see the mulch is around the tree to keep the moisture in, keep weeds down, feed the tree. The guard is adding as a nice little uh, funnel, isn't the right word? but we're just gently pouring it in, give it a good soak and a good soak occasionally is better than repeated little waters because that brings the roots to the surface and then if ever they don't get the water they experience drought but a good soak occasionally is a better way of approaching this. This orchard in five or six years is going to look a complete picture in 20 years, long after I've gone, this will be providing beautiful English fruit, tasty, wonderful, full of sunshine, full of taste, full of rural Britain.